with machetes, by the way, which they weren't doing anything violent, but it was just like props, right? Yeah. With machetes over his bed. And obviously he freaked out. <laughs> they realized, oh, this is the wrong place. So they shook his hand and said, sorry, mate. <laughs> wrong place. <laughs> sorry, mate. The B side word. Dev, this is your one. Yes. You brought it to me. Yes. Thinking, a this is interesting. Emma doesn't like it. She, she instantly sent me a reply. I don't like it. That's what she said to me. But I think it's going to be interesting. What's what's the title? I don't like it. <laughs> the uh -huh, title. Uh -huh. But that's the way. <laughs> the actual title is... What's the title? All music today. Man, All music. Oh, I like it. Men hired for sexual fantasy break into wrong house. Oh, <gasps> This is a good article. I can tell already. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me guess she wanted like a rape thing and these guys have broken into the wrong house that was way worse and dark than the article let, let's i'll tell you ready <laughs> hey hey my mind is dark <laughs> we know <laughs> so a guy yeah. hired two men to break into his house and play out a sexual fantasy he had where they tie him up while he's still in his undies and stroke him with a broom. <laughs> okay, no. I really wasn't that far off. <laughs> <laughs> so Let's be perfectly honest, I was close. <laughs> this guy ended up moving house, but he forgot to tell these, he forgot to update these people that he's moved. No. <laughs> so poor bloke ended up with a broom up his ass. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, two men went into his old house. Yeah. And woke up and basically woke up the new tenant or the new owner who was sleeping in his bed because this was early in the morning, about 6 a.m. Yeah. With machetes, by the way, which they weren't doing anything violent, but it was just like props, right? Yeah. With machetes over his bed. And obviously he freaked out. Yeah. They realized, <laughs> oh, this is the wrong place. So they shook his hand and said, sorry, mate. <laughs> wrong place. Sorry, mate. <laughs> you almost got broomed. <laughs> And they got the right address, went over there. Don't know if they carried out the fantasy, but it says the client that hired them ended up cooking them breakfast and then the police showed up. <laughs> wow. But Why nothing... did the police show up? <laughs> because the first house guy called the police on him, I think. Yeah, you would. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, what do you mean? Like, are you surprised that the guy called? Because, no, like, the first thing I do is call the police. Like, what? Like, they shook his hand, like, oh, so, 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 left. But he's like, so, <laughs> so, so, so. <laughs> <laughs> and then so they showed up to the the police showed up but i don't think they were there was no charge like there was nothing no they went to illegal. Uh, they went to they, they went to court they went to court but it was thrown out because there weren't what? there was no intent to break and enter and cause harm or any there was no yeah, malicious intent do you have um because he was hired by do you it. have um the actual a bit of the transcript of what how the lawyer explained it mm. in the court it was that that they got thrown out, or that was their argument for it to get thrown out? It actually got thrown out based on that. Now the I'm judge had sure. hired them earlier. I'm not sure. And he did, and he wanted them to make sure they did the job. A lawyer for a lawyer for <laughs> Terrence Terence Lee Leroy, who was one of the accused, said it was a commercial agreement to tie up and stroke a semi naked man in his underpants with a broom. <laughs> Entry was not with intent to intimidate. But that'd be pretty intimidating, being tied up in your undies, getting stroked with a broom, like, ooh, do you like then this? what about the, the guy that's the giving... The judge... <laughs> Isn't the guy at fault then the one that ordered it to the wrong place? <laughs> Isn't, shouldn't he be charged for something? Probably. Because then I could just I... order something to CJ's house right now and be like, well, the people that did it that had a commercial contract. <laughs> you know what, Maxi? I'd True. like to hear... Melanie's point of view from this. Who's Melanie? Melody. Melody, sorry. Yeah, that's what I said. What do you mean? Oh, <laughs> she's studying law. <laughs> My bad. Melody, the Hadley, Hadley guy was closer than you were. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the judge yeah. ruled that evidence did not suggest the men's actions were intentional. Ah, they were. No intent. They intentionally tied him up and stroked him with a broom. <laughs> <laughs> but this is only hap This is only because they said, "Oh, sorry, mate, wrong place." But if they'd actually done yeah, it, I wonder if they'd have been different. Mm. It's like hiring someone Man, to, would, to kill would, like, someone. That would that would freak you out. That could have some serious yeah. psychological impacts yeah. on someone. A hundred percent. Two men stood over you when you wake up with machetes. Yeah. And how do they get in? 
and probably you know, they broke. Have a key? No, they broke in. Did, I think. Yeah, I think they. But what they broke in? But then surely yeah, the, the guy... guy that was wanted it to happen would have just left his door open, or left the keys. No, I think he wanted a key. A key. Maybe a key, or he wanted them. They wanted the whole thing like break in and tie nah. me up. He wanted to be you, tied yeah, up. But, yeah, but you don't want to pay for the the yeah, but we new know. lock. If he's you can break into a house without breaking the the um thingy. You just jimmy mm. the lock. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> experienced Emma. <laughs> yeah, these are sex workers, not not house breaking people. <laughs> I work in insurance. That's a very niche <laughs> skill, isn't it? A very niche skill for it uh, is a, very... a sex worker that can break in as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On your resume, like, can you do sex work? Yes. Can you break? Can you pick locks? No. Well, we're gonna have to let you go. <laughs> maybe you maybe, you maybe go. it's easier to go the other way. Can you pick locks? Yes. Will you be willing to do sex work? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Everyone's got a cost. Everyone's got a price. <laughs> Everyone's got a price. Are you willing to stroke a weird man of a broom oh. in his underwear <laughs> <laughs> again after breaking into his house? <laughs> oh gosh. Anyway. That is a weird sex finish. It was a bit strange. <laughs>